Vocabulary. Enzyme. Substrates. In order to understand what an enzyme is, let me draw out what an enzyme is. Let me write this out here. You need to watch a previous video because enzymes belong to that class of macromolecule known as proteins. An enzyme is a protein which acts as a catalyst. Well, and if you don't know what a, a catalyst is, you need to watch Chemical Reactions Part 2. Because a catalyst is something that is described in detail in that video. Enzymes are biological catalysts. They help chemical reactions go really, really, really fast. For instance, in your, in your blood right now, there's water and carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is changed into carbonic acid, hydrogen carbonate. And that process is important because it removes carbon dioxide from your bloodstream. If it didn't remove carbon dioxide from your bloodstream, um, you would start getting a buildup of uh, this carb carbonic acid, which could be detrimental to your health. This is a chemical reaction which is very important within your bloodstream. Enzymes help make this chemical reaction go faster. How exactly do chemical how do how exactly do enzymes make chemical reactions go faster? Well, let me show you a picture. Because pictures help us to understand things a lot better. This is one of those reaction pathways. And it's showing you what the reactants and the products would be in the presence and in the absence of a catalyst. Let's look at the red line here. The red line here is a reaction which takes place from carbon dioxide and water to form the hydrogen carbonate. And what it does is a reaction needs a certain amount of activation energy when there's no enzyme present. When the enzyme is present, it needs a different amount of activation energy. Which amount is lower? Stop your video if you need to and think about it for a moment. The activation energy with the enzyme is actually smaller. There's less energy from here to here than there is from here to here. Clear the ink because I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. React the chemical reaction with enzymes, those biological catalysts, they will lower the activation energy. And what happens is the since the energy is lower, you don't need all of this extra energy. This is how much energy you don't need when you have the enzyme present. When the enzyme's present, it makes the chemical reaction go faster. Think of it like if you were to roll a ball up this hill, which hill would it be easier to roll up? The smaller one. Because the ball would be easy to roll up the smaller hill, it uses less energy. Because this chemical reaction uses an enzyme which uses less energy, less energy is needed. Because of that, it's easier for the chemical reaction to take place. In fact, in fact, with an enzyme, this chemical reaction takes place 10 million times faster than it would without the enzyme. Enzymes really speed up chemical reactions. Well, how do enzymes work? Enzymes work with this basic idea. This is called the 
induced fit model. It's not super important you understand what that model is, just realize that there's different ways that we think about how enzymes work. And I learned about this from Dr. Lomnith at the University of Nebraska in Omaha, my biochemistry teacher, who told me that the induced fit model was currently, according to the research when I took the class, the best model for how enzymes work. How do enzymes work? Well, first, you start with a substrate. A substrate is a fancy term we use for the reactants when they interact with enzymes. What happens is the substrates, they find a place within the enzyme, they find a particular enzyme, or the place within a particular enzyme, which they fit into. When they fit, it changes the shape of the enzyme. Enzyme changes shape very slightly. When it changes shape slightly, notice what happened to our substrate. It's no longer green, but it's two different colors. It has separated the substrate into two different things. And it releases products. When it, when it releases those products, notice what happens to the enzyme. This enzyme here is the same as that enzyme there because it goes back to its original shape. So we start with a substrate and an enzyme. The enzyme binds to the substrate and it changes its shape slightly which breaks apart or changes the substrate into products and those products are released. That's basically how an enzyme works. And enzymes can be affected by different things. First of all, a few things you should know. One is that enzymes are specific. What I mean by specific is that enzymes don't just go bonding with any old thing. Let me give you an example. Here is a molecule. If this was a molecule, and this was its enzyme, if this was the substrate uh, right here, which I've selected in that blue box, and this is the enzyme, we're going to call him pacmanase, because enzymes often have an ace ending. If you see an ace ending on a molecule, it's probably an enzyme. Enzymes are specific, and this is a Pac-Man ACE enzyme because it looks like Pac-Man. This molecule will not, will not be used by that enzyme if that's the way that molecule works. However, if the molecule has a different shape, let me erase the ink here and get back. If the molecule, the substrate has a different shape, that enzyme can use it. When it uses, when it binds to that enzyme, the enzyme will change shape slightly and then what happens is this thing is released and they become something completely different. The substrate becomes new products. But for the purposes of this, I want to show you some things that affect enzymes. Enzymes normally care about their business. They're specific to only very certain substances, which have a certain shape, and they do their work with specific molecules. If another molecule comes in that's not the same molecule and it has a similar shape, it can block that enzyme from working with the green substrate. This molecule is called an inhibitor. An inhibitor will come in and block the enzyme from working because this substrate can no longer get in to that Pac-Man area. That place where that enzyme is binding to the substrate is called the uh, active site. So here's our active site. 
right there. There's the active site. That's where the bonding is happening. And that is an inhibitor. Some molecules can get in the way of enzymes doing their work with the proper substrates. Those are called inhibitors. Sometimes um, other things can affect how enzymes work as well. So things that affect enzymes, which are specific and usually end with an ACE ending, to give it a name to an enzyme, you give it an ACE ending. What happens is there's inhibitor molecules which affect enzymes. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So there's inhibitors. There's temperature. If you remember, enzymes are part of the biological uh, macromolecule class of proteins. If you increase the temperature too much, enzymes don't work. In fact, what happens is you'd end up with a steak. If you increase the temperature, your enzyme becomes cooked like a steak. It doesn't literally become a steak, but it gets cooked like a steak. And this enzyme no longer functions when the temperature changes. And oftentimes enzymes have a range of temperatures, which means they go from like, let's say, 20 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. And they only work within that specific range. If it gets too hot, like 60 degrees Celsius, it gets cooked. If it gets too cold, like 0 degrees Celsius, it gets frozen. Let's draw some ice on this enzyme. It can't work when it's too hot or too cold. So inhibitors affect enzymes. Temperature affects enzymes. And finally, pH can affect enzymes. Because what can happen is when you change the pH of the solution that the enzyme is working in, your enzyme becomes misshapen, a term we actually call denatured. This enzyme has is an instance where this enzyme has been put in a new solution with a different pH. It could be acidic, it could be basic, but if the pH is different enough, it changes the shape of the enzyme. If you change the active site on an enzyme, it no longer binds to its proper substrate and you get a problem. Three things can affect enzymes in terms of their function. Three things can affect enzymes in terms of their function. So let's review. First of all, enzymes are biological catalysts. They speed up chemical reactions. Secondly, enzymes are specific. They bind to substrates. And they produce products after changing shape slightly. The induced fit model. Thirdly, Enzymes can be affected by things like inhibitor molecules, inhibitor, temperature, which can cook your enzyme or freeze them and get them to not work any longer, or change in pH, which denatures the enzyme.